I'm going to explain the principles around containers, some of the challenges and misconceptions with containers, and how they relate to Cloud Foundry. In recent years, there's been rapid growth in container-based technologies. Containers give you a way of leveraging a slice of a virtual machine in a secure way. It achieves this through leveraging operating system features to control resources and isolate and secure the relevant processes. Both VMs and con the container space are rapidly evolving, and in some ways, these spaces are merging together. But the reason why containers have become so popular is that historically, at least, they've had three distinct advantages over traditional VMs. The first is speed and efficiency, because they're super quick to create. The second is greater resource consolidation, especially if you're overcommitting your resources. And finally, they give you application portability because you can package up all of your application dependencies into a single binary image. Containers are best thought of as having two key elements. The first is the file system. This is the thing you actually run, be it a pre-built Docker image or a Cloud Foundry built droplet plus a stack. This packaged executable encapsulates your application and all of its dependencies so it can be run repeatedly in different environments. The second element is the container management component or the container backend. There are various pieces that comprise this and both the technology and terminology tend to be implementation specific. But no matter what technology you use, this piece is the part responsible for building and running your isolated processes. Now that term, isolated processes, brings us to the first misconception with containers. And that is, at least in the Linux world, there's no such thing as a literal container. Containers are logical descriptions. They are not a literal entity. What you get is some walls, some resource limits, and some namespace isolation. They're really just kernel features. And how those kernel features get orchestrated is down to an implementation detail. And this term, implementation detail, brings us to a very important second misconception with containers. And that is the implementation detail matters. In reality, it does not matter. What do I mean by that? Well, when you think about the file system, there are definitely some pros and cons between using a pre-built Docker image or allowing Cloud Foundry to build your droplet. But the key thing is, it's not an either or decision. Providing you build your application or your Docker image in a cloud native way that adheres to those platform opinions, the choice is yours. Cloud Foundry can handle both. The interesting thing for me is about the level of abstraction that Cloud Foundry provides. Cloud Foundry focuses on your applications. Containers, just like middleware, they're just an implementation detail. And developers should be focusing on the business logic of their applications, not on process isolation or what file system to use. The final misconception with containers is all you need to ship with Velocity is containers. The reality is containers alone, they're not enough. Whether you build it yourself or whether you use a pre-built platform, you still need all those platform capabilities like user management, resiliency, aggregated streaming of logs and metrics, all those good things a platform provides. So what do containers look like in Cloud Foundry? Well, as I've mentioned, with the file system, you can use a Docker image or you can do a CF push of your application and allow Cloud Foundry to build you that droplet. And on the back end piece, the management component, Cloud Foundry is standardizing on Run C, along with Docker and Rocket. Now, I stand by what I said, the back end technology, providing it does what it says and it runs your processes in a secure and isolated way, it really shouldn't matter. But I do think it's important that we're all standardizing on an open community, we're all investing in the same project for the good of the community rather than reinventing the wheel ourselves. That's a really positive thing.